In this new video tutorial we'll see uh, how to use CAT to perform uh, uh, the optimal design. Mm, in particular we'll start from a, a real, uh, real case and uh, we have here the description. Uh, our system uh, is composed of uh, includes uh, seven variables uh, with different uh, possible levels. So the first four variables have two uh, possible levels and the last uh, three variables have three different levels. Mm, okay, our system, uh, the model that we want to uh, use uh, is uh, uh, described here and so we have uh, um, the uh, coefficients for the linear terms for the uh, seven variables and uh, the three coefficients for the quadratic terms for the last three variables. Uh, in this case we do not want to evaluate the interactions between the variables. So uh, in total we need to evaluate 11 coefficients. Uh, in this case uh, we'll see uh, that uh, all the possible combinations uh, are of course uh, 432 uh, experiments that uh, are uh, in uh, most cases are too many experiments to be performed in the lab for example and uh, we use uh, the optimal design in CAT to uh, perform a selection of a suitable number, a smaller number of experiments uh, to have a, a the, the, the information and the uh, model computation that we uh, that we want to study. So we first of all we go in CAT and we uh, perform the, uh, com the generation of the uh, grid, the matrix with all the candidate points, all the possible candidate points. So we know that we have seven variables okay and uh, mm, now we have to indicate the levels the possible levels for all the variables so we remember that uh, for the first uh, we had uh, two uh, one, one. we had only two levels i copy this uh, to, uh, for the second variable again minus one plus one the third minus one and plus one and the same for the fourth variable okay now for from variable number five we add three levels again i copy this the same for number six and the same for number seven okay now the system the program generated a matrix called cp that contains all the candidate points and we see here the 432 combinations that we saw before uh, now we start from here to uh, perform the, the optimal uh, design. So from MLA-DOI uh, tab we select the optimal design in independent variables. The matrix we want to use is CP and we want to include higher terms. Okay, mm, now we have to uh, remove the uh, uh, cells that uh, uh, correspond to uh, the interactions between variables. So we place a zero um, for all the cells that are outside the uh, diagonal. And we leave one on the on the diagonal because we know that we want to uh, evaluate, we want to include the quadratic terms for the last three variables. Okay. Uh, we now indicate the uh, number of experiments that we want to uh, include uh, in in our model computation. Uh, the lowest uh, the lowest number of experiments is eleven. Uh, as we know that we need to evaluate uh, 11 coefficients, uh, the upper number is maximum 431, uh, that is uh, one uh, lower than the, the mm, total possible uh, combinations. Uh, here we can put uh, 30 as maximum number of experiments. Mm, we leave an incremental step of one experiment and the trials at 10. Okay. Now the program is uh, mm, performing its calculation and uh, we'll see uh, 
how to uh, use these uh, results okay the, the program uh, generated two different graphs we start from this one that is the uh, graph of the normalized determinant uh, here we have the number of experiments uh, from 11 to 30 uh, and uh, um, we have here the uh, normalized determinant on logarithmic scale uh, in this case we want that uh, this uh, value is uh, the, the highest and so, um, for example, we see here that uh, probably this uh, uh, solution with uh, 18 that corresponds to 18 experiments could be a very good compromise between uh, the number of experiments and the uh, normalized determinant. Uh, because um, going uh, on with a higher number of experiments, uh, probably it would take uh, at least uh, 10, 11 more experiments uh, to uh, have the same level of normalized determinant. This other uh, graph report uh, the values of the uh, maximum inflection, inflation factor. Um, in this case uh, we want that this value is uh, at least lower than 4 to have a uh, result of uh, good quality and uh, it is maybe uh, preferred if it is uh, lower than 2 but in this case uh, we are happy because uh, we see that uh, already with a low number of experiments uh, we can uh, uh, we can have uh, this uh, this value uh, really really low so um, we in the end we go for the uh, 18 experiments uh, solution so uh, we go back to the console and uh, here we have um, reported uh, all the solutions uh, for uh, each number of experiments from 11 to uh, 15 and we go down and uh, we select the 18 uh, experiment solution so this is the number of the row uh, uh, of the experiment in the uh, CP matrix so we could go back to this the, to the complete CP matrix and uh, pick manually uh, each uh, experiment that uh, is uh, reported here but we also can do th something more uh, efficient uh, and that is to say we could uh, um, copy this uh, and use a, um, a function so select and copy and we use a function uh, in cat to generate a, a new matrix uh, with only these rows so uh, the uh, the new matrix will be called uh, uh, cell selection that is uh, f generated from CP and uh, we use this kind of uh, notation okay we need to uh, paste the number of the experiments and uh, they must be separated by a comma so I add uh, this manually And in this way we'll have a new matrix with the selection of the uh, desired point. So this is the way we must, uh, uh, we must write this uh, command line. Uh, okay, so uh, the new matrix selection has been created and this is uh, composed of the uh, 18 rows corresponding to 18 to the 18 experiments that were selected by mm, the, uh, the, the optimal design and that will be uh, performed experimentally 